Hi guys, today I will share with you how to optimize your NVIDIA graphic cards to increase your FPS, reduce the input lag, and improve the visuals. So first thing you should do is to check if you have the newest GPU driver installed because there is a new driver being released regularly. So it's recommended to update the GPU driver every one to two months to keep everything up to date, fix all the bugs, and increase the performance of your GPU overall. I will have the link in the description below for you to update your driver. Once you're here, you will need to enter some information about your system and your GPU. And if you don't know the information, simply right click on your desktop and go to the NVIDIA control panel. And once it's open, click on help and click on system information. On here, you will have your GPU information and your systems and along with the, the driver version. And if it's the newest, you don't have to do this. Otherwise, use this piece of information and put it there. So in our case, it is 30 series, but not notebook. And it's 3080, Windows 10, English, and search. And then the driver will come up below here. So you see the newest, it's January 14th. We need to update and just download now. And it will start downloading. And once it's done, just click it. And then just click OK. And then you have two options. Personally, I always go to the driver only. I don't like the GeForce because sometimes it's eating up my RAM and my GPU usage. So I only install the driver. So just hit agree and continue. Uh, it will be express recommended next. And you just wait. And towards the end, your monitor will flash black. So don't panic, just wait and then you will finish and just close. And next step is really important, which is restart our PC. And this will apply all the changes and updates to the GPU. So let's do that. And once your PC is restarted, let's go ahead and right click on the desktop again and go to NVIDIA control panel and click on the home button and you will see the newest version of the driver is installed. So first let's go to the adjust image settings. Well here it's recommended to use the second one but if you want the best of the best, change your quality to performance and hit apply. And then go to manage 3D settings and this will impact the most of the performance and visuals and all that. So follow carefully and different graphic cards or different PC build will have a different results. So play around with it and find the best spot and best settings for your system. So image scaling should be off and the ambient should be set to performance, the filtering, application control, FXAA off, gamma corrections on, and the mood, application controlled, transparency off, background max form rate off. You don't want other stuff in the background to take the frame from you. So of course, leave this off. And the CUDA GPUs out, and the DSR factors should be off. But if you want better pictures, then you can turn this on. But if you just want the FPS the most, then leave this off. The low latency mode should be on and this will give you the more smooth game experience and all that and low input lag and maximum frame rate should be off. Monitor technology, if you have a G-Sync monitor compatible, of course choose that. Otherwise by default it's the fixed refresh rate and the multi-frame sample AA should be off and OpenGL rendering GPU should be the one that you have. In this case, it's the RTX 3080 and for the power management mode, we want the preferred maximum performance and the preferred refresh rate it should be the highest available and the shader case size should be the driver default and the texture filtering sample should be on and the negative IOD should be allowed and the quality should be choosing the high performance and the trilinear optimization should be on and the threaded optimization should be auto triple buffering should be off and vertical sync should be off at all time and visual reality pre-rendered frame should be one and the variable rate should be off and then you can hit apply and next we go to the physics and under processor you will always want your gpu on here so in this case we choose the rtx 3080 and next we go to display let's go to change resolution and in here you want to choose the highest resolution on their pc and then of course choose the highest refresh rate and then you can just go ahead and hit apply and now let's make the pictures better let's go to the adjust desktop color and here just Play around this and find the best spot for you. In my case, I added to positive 60% and I adjust the brightness a little bit, the contrast a little bit. So it has the best pictures. So play this around and find the perfect spot for your needs. And if you have a G-Sync compatible monitor, you want to go to the setup G-Sync and make sure the check mark is on. 
so you have the feature and then you want to go to the video and go to the video color settings i don't know why but for all the gpus that from nvidia by default it's limited 16 to 235 we want the full 0 to 255 so we choose that and then you can just go ahead and hit apply after all we did you should have the best performance and pictures out of your gpu and also everything we did is completely safe and will not increase the heat to your system or gpu if anything go wrong or anything you don't like just hit that restore button and everything will go back to default and then you can start from there again and now let's see who is the lucky guy Congratulations, MG! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. 